This channel already has a plethora of options for you on beating Giovanni with his Shadow Lugia lineup. This time, we are going to focus on Rhyperior being in the middle spot, but we have covered it with Mud Slap. This particular video is actually going to show from two different account perspectives, one that's in the mid-30s and another one that's level 41. Level 41's on the left, mid-30s on the right. You can actually see by the CP difference. Notice, of course, that that Persian 5979 over there on the right side, whereas on the left side with that 41 account, because T Go Rocket is going to scale the CP higher or lower based on your trainer level, meaning the higher your trainer level, the more powerful the Pokemon are going to be that you're fighting against, so that Persian 7421 on the CP. But like we were saying, you know, this time it's going to be Rhyperior middle spot, but with Smackdown as the fast attack, and you do want to handle that differently. If it's going to be using Mud Slap, most of the time, it is better to use a different Pokemon to go up against it. It's not every single time, but, you know, I gave some options in that video. This will provide even more for you, and so you you can see most of these are going to be below the Great League level CPs, meaning 1500 CP or below. The only thing is the Giratina altered form there on the right side, and the reason is just because it's really kind of hard to find a Giratina that's actually below 1500. I would have done it if I could, but Giratina altered form with the Dragon move set is a decent choice, actually really good for taking on the Persian, and you can see it kind of outlasts to into some of these other fights as well, like the Rhyperior. And of course, to deal with the Persian on that left side, a Galarian style. Stunfisk, it, this is just sort of a Pokemon you want in general, along with Swampert and Melmetal. Like, these are Pokemon that are very good for Team Go Rocket fights, just generally speaking. There's almost always been at least <laughs> one or more, of course, Rocket leaders or Giovannis in the past that would be especially vulnerable to the Galarian Stunfisk, Swampert, even Melmetal. Again, they can provide spammy movesets. So going with that, you've seen Muddy Water in multiple places, right, with the Stunfisk, but also the Swampert there on the left side. When it's paired with Mudshot uh, as your fast attack, that really is like a spammy combo. You know, it only takes just a few mud shots to get a Muddy Water off. The thing is, Muddy Water is not really for damage. It's all about breaking those shields, but it also comes with a chance to debuff. And so you actually notice we got that a few times, and that's good. You can likely replicate this. I'm, you know, it's no guarantee, of course. It's a percentage chance. But you notice, obviously, we went with Water against this Rhyperior on both accounts. And Rhyperior, as long as you have Grass or Water, water attacks, it's going to be doubly super effective. So normal super effective damage is going to be 160% of the damage total. But when it's doubly super effective like grass or water is against Rhyperior, that's going to be a 256% damage. Surely you notice the CP differences with the Rhyperior, but here with Lugia, you know, it's going to be 13,000 plus as opposed to 16,000 plus on the left side. So again, those level disparities in, that's your trainer level, definitely can be felt. So you know, when we're keeping these Pokemon on below the Great League. The aim here is that if you are below, let's say, level 41, for example, on that left side, you're going to be facing Pokemon of a lower CP from Giovanni's side, but yet I'm handicapping myself by going below those Great League levels of 1500. The point being that you can win, at least have a better chance, if you are taking on this same moveset. That's key. For example, a Persian with Scratch, that's what we fought before, whereas if you were fighting a Persian with Faint Attack, you would use different Pokemon against that. But, like, you wouldn't want to send most of your fighting types against a Persian with Scratch. Really, the key more so is going to be resisting. If you can, deal super effective damage, too, and that's why in previous videos we've shown a Cobalion with Sacred Sword, for example, you know, it would resist the Scratch attacks normal typing while dealing super effective. But here was just uh, many options for you, and again, Melmetal, very spammy. On that left side account, you are going to see the screen will just kind of fade out. It's because we're going to run away from the encounter. It's because I don't want to use my Super Rocket Radar. I want to be able to bring you guys more videos if I need to. And so we'll speed this last one up here because this team actually runs out of time and I, I, it's essentially a losing combo, but not the Pokemon in general. It's just their levels. It's from the level 41 perspective once again. And this shows Lucario's awesomeness. I mean, Lucario is great. The one thing is I couldn't get one that was below Great League, but it's basically there. 1528, it's not too far off, right? But Lucario is just a little bit squishy still. So you might see a lot of people being like, well, I beat it with Lucario. They were likely a trainer that's below level 40. This is a level 41 account playing right here and the screen earlier on the left side. So it's like, yes, Lucario, another one of those just general great options and things, but just keep in mind the squishiness. It may not last through the whole fight unless you've powered it up to around Ultra League. And so once again, this is simply just a case of for a level 41 or above account, the levels are just too low for these Pokemon right now. They would get the job done if that wasn't the case. What you're going to see essentially is that we run out of time. If we had 
had infinite time or higher CPs, we could complete it with those Pokemon at that account level. So that's just more options for you. And going up against the same Giovanni Pokemon, same movesets and all of that. But once again, you want to view the whole playlist on this channel. That will help you tackle if he has Kingler in the middle, if he has Nidoking in the middle, and of course the Rhyperior with the two different attack typings. All of that is covered on this channel. We even have a video specifically about Persian, so that's going to be linked everywhere I can. I'll catch you on the next vid, and thanks for viewing.